Shalom and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Pastor Paul Howe, a sofa maker. And uh, now here I have a Sable Shofa Video 400. That is a completed, it will be a humongous Sable Antelope Shofa, which is uh, rarely found online shown to you to be turned into a sofa so i have some of this in my collection now and i would like to uh, tune one of these into a sofa for you let's look at the colors it's humongous big sofa and it's very nice the color is absolutely stunning look at the colors here we have polish it hand polish and bring out all the colors and the cleanliness of it so that you can see the actual horn clean out as in the wild you see that absolutely beautiful and on the uh, river side you see the colors Very nice sound. Look at it. I have not seen any of this type of uh, sable horn be turned into a uh, sofa online, but uh, I'll be doing now for you to see and for you to hear. So, first of all, I thank God that I can manage to get this type of horns, which is very rare. And here, I've already cut it off, so I'm just going to take it out now. Yeah. Okay, the horn is actually this long. You see that? I cut out here about 100 at millimeter or 10 cm so I've already marked the so far where is where the uh, the bell here the opening of this bell ends and it ends about here yeah and that is about uh, for this particular so far it ends about 14 centimeter 14 centimeter to the tip here where the mouthpiece will be done and I've marked it out already to get the alignment correctly and I've already centered the piece so I'm going to begin to fine tune it tune it and fine tune it before you for you to hear this uh, magnificent Sable antelope sofa. Let me just align it. Touch the alignment again. I will use a crayon to mark it. This is uh, only to experience that you know where to mark. If not, it will be offline. Yeah from where the air is going to travel okay <clears throat> now I will just change you a slightly shorter Okay, here we go. I'm going to drill it before you. This drill is very long.
so very long so far so control is very important Cannot rush this type of job. Enter it again. Within the tolerance. Why I'm doing drilling this way? Because I need to constantly adjust the drilling point. Measuring against my drill, the end of the bell of this uh, magnificent uh, saber antelope horn, so I know more or less where it will punch through. if you continue to just drill in these shavings can melt inside there because of the friction and this drill will be stuck there and that will be a lot of trouble to try and get this drill out Drilling a long, uh, long uh, horn, 
you make into a shofar don't drill direct in because why the drill can get stuck and you get a big problem there The drilling has changed. We have break through the drill. to clear the debris out from the tin this is a custom-made flexible uh, wire galvanized iron yeah, galvanized wire iron. It is a uh, four core, four core twisted galvanized iron. Because then you can have such a flexibility. And uh, you see how long will this thing go in? You watch this. I'm catching it here. Can you see that? Just to make sure that debris are all clean up inside there. that can't find this in the market all these are by experience then uh, you start to create your own tools should be a very magnificent so far sounding by the sound of the air of it Very nice. Okay, now we are going to the uh, stages of tuning. Basic tuning first. Basic tuning using a uh, what do you call uh, a sharp point tungsten carbonite tungsten carbonite drill bit. Yeah, and it's a uh, cross cut. drilling the thing which is already done yeah I'm gonna enlarge it and try start to make it into a mouthpiece of a trumpet more or less yeah but much smaller will be the first time I'm also hearing this particular humongous sable horn. Well, let's hear the uh, basic sound now. Wow, basic sound is already very good. Now I'm going to go into the uh, first stage of fine tuning and then hopefully I will end up with the uh, second stage of fine tuning and do not need to go to the third stage of fine tuning so now I'm going to widen the internal here the hole here to make it like a cup so you can catch your breath catch our breath when we blow 
this particular profile. This particular sofa or this horn, I've already straightened out at the end here. Yeah, from here to here, about uh, eight inches. I've already straightened it out so that I can get a tuning according to my way of tuning a sofa. If it is not straightened out, this horn will be. If you see the follow the curve. He will start to curve up. This one will curve this way. Yeah, it goes here and then it will go here. Can you see the straightening part here? That is from here. Straighten it out. Straighten it out. So now I'm going to further. widen it into like a uh, trumpet mouthpiece so I see quite a lot because why is very dark black like a dark onyx color I don't know how this uh, hardness of this horn is, so I got to proceed very carefully. Okay, should be quite manageable because some horns tends to uh, be very hard and not easy to shape. This one reasonable let me just speed up a bit more Okay, this is the first stage of fine tuning after the basic fine tuning just now. Still very hot. Cool down a bit so that I can test out the sound of the first stage of fine tuning. Still very hot. stage of fine tuning that means I'm going to make this uh, circumferences circumference of the uh, mouthpiece here bigger and the cup inside there I'll make it deeper so then catch more of the breath of the blower
see that the sound is air is very good i'm going to increase the uh, circumference inside there around the mouthpiece as i've already deepened the mouthpiece area to capture capture your breath if this so far happens to land in your hands so far should be good one very good sound because the uh, horn is yielding to my pressure as i increase it this a lot some horns are very tough needs a lot more work well this is nice let me just uh, smooth enough the uh, edge of the mouthpiece. <clears throat> I think this will be enough. Let me just clear out the internal one more time. very long for clearing out any debris that is inside there why need to be so long because why you want the uh, length here where the spiral of this uh, spun galvanized iron wire will sort of become a, an abrasive when it's inside there clearing it up the debris that is inside why don't I just use a nice uh, thick galvanized iron wire no, because it doesn't have that, that roughage of the edge as a spun wire, four core spun wire. Let's hear the sound. absolutely out beyond my description yeah and this is the first sable horn that I have just crafted yeah I have the other side as well and I'll be crafting it likely tomorrow and I have some more coming and some more here also so as i craft it i will show you all the uh, antelope sable sofa so give us a like on this uh, video as you have seen me crafting it video 400 so look at the colors again it's really <coughs> beautiful That. all the ribs here all natural we sort of go into each rib here and clean out nicely yeah we do not want to <coughs> just use the our sander and just send it off because it will lose all its character beautiful so give us a positive comment and share with your friends that they will be able to see such a magnificent sofa being crafted and this is what you see is what you get what you hear 
is actually this shofar sound, which you can improve on if when you get this particular shofar. Yeah, so send me a message those who are looking for such shofars because it is a rarity. So, thank you so much for watching. Help us to increase our subscriber base. We hope to touch a thousand subscribers by end 2021. So, thank you for watching. God bless you all and Shalom. Humongous. <laughs>